educator and choral director. And as part of your musical life, you own a very special piano. Tell me about it. Well, I do. I own a 1928 Steinway Grand Piano, uh, rebuilt by a dear friend of mine who rebuilts pianos. And it was the childhood piano of Nobel Prize winner Carrie Mullis. <gasps> winner Carrie Mullis. <gasps> Wow. Must make you smarter to play that. I don't know, but it's my forever piano. Listen, you know, these guys like Fauci get up there and start talking. You know, he doesn't know anything really about anything. And I'd say that to his face. Nothing. The man thinks you can take a blood sample and stick it in an electron microscope. And if it's got a virus in there, you'll know it. He doesn't understand electron microscopy. And he doesn't understand medicine. And he, doesn't, he should not be in a position like he's in. Most of those guys up there on the top are just total administrative people and they don't know anything about what's going on at the bottom you know those guys have got an agenda which is not what we would like them to have being that we pay for them to take care of our health in some way they've got a personal kind of agenda they make up their own rules as they go they change them when they want to and they smugly like tony fauci does not mind going on television in front of the people who pay his salary and lie directly into the camera you can't expect the sheep really respect the best and the brightest they don't know the difference really i mean i i like humans don't don't get me wrong but basically there is a there is a there's a vast the vast majority of them do not possess the the ability to judge who is and who isn't a really good scientist i mean that's a problem that's a main problem actually with science i'd say in this century because science is being judged by people funding is being done by people who don't understand it. Okay, who do we trust? Fauci. Fauci doesn't know enough to, you know. If Fauci wants to get on television with somebody who knows a little bit about this stuff and debate him, he could easily do it because he's been asked. I mean, I've had a lot of people, president of the University of South Carolina, ask Fauci if he'd come down there and debate me on the stage in front of the student body because I wanted somebody who was from the other side to come down there and balance my because I felt like, well, these guys can listen to me, but I need to have somebody else down here that's going to tell me the other side. But Fauci didn't want to do it. <laughs> I'd have to laugh at that. <laughs> I should be prosecuted. <laughs> I'd have to laugh at that. <laughs> I should be prosecuted. 